Hello, welcome to a quick Zap tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to set up Zap and how to get started. Let's start by launching Zap. Since this is the first time I'm launching Zap, I'm presented with a welcome window. So I click on get started. I enable the accessibility permission, which is great. Um, Zap uses it to do its magic. Click on continue. Then um, you can skip this for now, and Zap should automatically set up. Uh, now that Zap is set up, let's check this over how to do. Um, the next thing is to learn how to toggle zap because zap is like a spotlight app it doesn't show immediately on your computer um and running is to check your menu bar you should see the menu bar icon it bolt icon over here uh, once you click on it one way to show zap is to click on this show zap menu item once you click on it, um, you should see this is a panel pop out. Um, so that's one way to show Zap. Another way is to use um, the command semicolon key combo. So if you press command semicolon, it should show. If you press it again, it will hide it. So uh, this is the most preferred way. And also you can change this um, shortcut on the preferences in the um in zap settings now that we've learned how to um toggle and um show zap and hide it let us toggle it to make it visible we are presented with an empty strip of um um slots of um that we need to place some applications that we want to like quickly switch back and forth you know um, however, we need to view the applications on our computer. In order to do that, we need to expand the Zap view. And um, in order to expand this view, you can. There are two ways to do that. You can press E once Zap is vocals, right? And another way to do that is um, you can double click on this small bar, right? Single click, right? Expands it, click it again to hide it. You can use E or Escape, whichever one you like. If you click outside Zap, then it hides. So that is um how to toggle Zap to expand it to see our app library, and you can press Escape to ex to collapse it, and you can also press Escape to Let's up leave your view. So let's take this off. That's what you've learned. So I've mentioned the app library, which is over here. Um, the app library shows you like an all the apps you have installed on your computer. So the idea is um you can drag any of these apps listed here to the topmost strip. Uh, so the topmost strip represents the apps you want to like quickly um have access to and you can switch to them with hot keys. So um I want to quickly have access to Arc. You can use the search feature to to search for your application. One way to get it is uh you can press the same forward slash to uh, make it pop out. Or you can just scroll up and down, scroll up till you get it. Once you have fifth ghost, you can type the app you want. So I want to switch also to my Alacrity and uh, my music player. Uh, yeah, and um, see my space drive to access my file quickly, right? So I have um, set up the apps I want to use. Um, so each app um, um and the slots are named are indexed so this is um slot one slot two slot three slot four five six 
seven, eight, nine, and the last one is zero. These are following the the number rows on your keyboard, right? So yes. Now, now that we have our hubs assigned, um, we can we can collapse the sub right and take it out of our view and then we've learned how to assign apps and also we've learned about the app library so let's learn how to switch between apps now that we've assigned our apps and the um, zap is away from our view it's not obstructing our view anymore but you can quickly notice that on the top of your screen you have like a mini view of zap that is showing you all the apps you've previously assigned, right? And um, they are slot number. So you can easily recall, you know, it's always there so you can easily, oh, I, I'm on, I want to jump to hack. I want to jump to alacrity. I want to jump to run on my space drive. So in order to jump to hubs, you use um command, then the slot number. For example, my hack should be command one. So if I press command up, command one, app browser should show so command one you see my app, app browser shows command two we have um my alacrity could um terminal open command three we have my run play open and command zero we have um my space drive um play open one quick stuff i love i love with zap and it's like a quick hint is up zap automatically positions your cursor to the center of the window of your that you currently focus with zap so notice how the zap my cursor will jump from my space drive to my run once i switch to run, run using zap so i press command three and you can see the cursor is at the center of of my run player so i mean i mean this makes you like more, much more productive because you don't need to drag the cursor to the application zap automatically undoes that for you so that's one neat feature. Uh, you can set it to other positions, but the center is the default position. So now that we've learned about Zap Mini View and how to switch between apps using Zap, which is, I mean, just the basic of using Zap. These are really the basics of using Zap. So let's go back to our to-do list to see other stuff we need to learn. So yeah, one thing is um, when working, right? Sometimes the zap mini view can be obstructive. Like for example, um, the zap mini view is covering this um space drive um text over here. Um, the solution is to hide temporarily hide this app mini view. So and in order to do that, all you just need to do is to press command escape. Then the zap is hidden visually from your workspace. You don't see it anymore. And once you want to like make see where, where wherever your bindings are you can press command escape again then um, it's going to show you zap and you have the mini view up and running it again so yeah so it's i mean for smaller screen where you want some real estate you don't want zap to be obstructing your the zap mini view to be obstructing your view every time so you can use command escape to hide it and command escape to show it so yeah so that is another thing you need to know and um, these are the basics of using Zap really. Um, but if you want more advanced stuff, then we can talk about more advanced stuff. But before we do, let us check out this step from our to-do list. So one advanced stuff I'm going to talk about is um, Zap Spaces. So Zap supports context switching. Um, what I mean by context switching, you wonder, I would explain as we go further in this tutorial. So if I make Zap visible by pressing command semicolon, right? Um, there are some times, you know, there are some times when you are using, doing multiple stuff with your computer. For example, this will ideally bring my programming loadout because I might have a, um, my browser and my terminal and my music player. That is all I need for like programming um, and doing other stuff. So say I want to do some multimedia, say I want to make some bits, I want to, you know, do some music stuff or maybe some multimedia stuff. So um you need you, you need to like but then I want to like assign um new hubs to this stuff 
So, but then you don't want to keep replacing these apps, right? You want to, you want to kind of have a new space for your new set of apps. So Zap supports that. We call this Zap Spaces. So in order to switch between Zap Spaces, there are a couple of ways you can do it. Once Zap is visible, you can press um, J to move to the next space and K to move to the previous space. That's one way to do it. Or you can, once you're on this um, um, app strip, you can scroll up and down to show the mini view over here that you can use it to drag. So to drag to the first version, you can drag to another empty slot. And um, yeah, you have a new space. Right? So, um, so that is pretty cool. Um, now that we're on the second space, so this is the second space, right? I want to drag some new set of apps to this um space, so I can um I can then say I want to my logic prox um and I want to and I want to use Figma, right? And I want to use my Finder. And see my notes. Right. So these are the new set of apps I want to switch to. So once I collapse up, right, and you can see on the mini view, we have it updated to the new set of apps I've just assigned. And so the same command. So command one opens um, logic, command two opens Figma, command three opens my finder. Command 4 opens my note. That is pretty neat. So to change your space, all what you just need to do is to go into Zap, then press K to go to the previous space, and press Escape, and you can see the assigned apps I've updated to my previous loadout, which is uh, my um, Command 1 for Arc, Command 2 for Alacrity, Command 3 for Rune, and Command 0 for Space Drive. So yeah. With Zap Spaces, you have up to 10 spaces to assign different set of apps, which is a very, I mean, that is enough for whatever you are doing. Yeah. So that is it about Spaces, which is pretty cool. Um, so let me show you other ways to change your space. You can change your space using the menu bar, right? So you can say, go to your menu bar. On spaces and click on space two. Then you should have a space two open for you. So that's one way to do it, which is pretty good. Um, so the next thing I want to talk about is um, um let me switch to my notes to talk about is um the Vim key bindings. So Zap supports Vim key bindings in a way. So if you have Vim addicts like me, right? Uh, we suppose some Vim motions. Say um, I'm on my fourth app, then I want to jump to my logic, right? So this is um zero. So this is one, two, three. So once Zap is focused like this, I can say um. 3H and boom, my logic app has opened. Say from logic, I want to jump to my finder. That would be 2L. And yeah, my finder app has opened. So yeah, that is um that is um the Vim the Vim Motion Zap supports. Another Vim Motion is support is for spaces. So I'm on the third space. I want to jump to the second space. I mean, to the very first space, which is two spaces above, I can press 2K, and yeah, it jumps to the to the, to the very first space. From the very first space, I want to jump to the third space. I can press 2J, and it jumps to the third space. So these are the two V motions we currently support, which is very cool. <laughs> so let me jump to the very first space. That would be 2K, and yeah, we have the very sp first space activated for us. Um, so these are the basics of Zap, really. So, um, so we've learned about Vim key bindings, so which is great. 
Um, the next thing we can learn about is um just to have a look on the preferences over here. Um, we have um the general stuff where you can set up your the command you want to use to like activate app. So I will keep it as default. You can also set custom shortcuts for other applications, right? But um, I need not to do that. But you can find if you have any reason where you want to like assign some short shortcuts for your apps. Yeah, you can do it over here. The next thing is the advanced, which is um, the auto position cursor <laughs> TM. So, which automatically positions cursor once you switch up with app, it automatically positions your cursor to the center. If you have um top left corner and you have none, if you want to disable this feature, but I'll keep it to the default. And that is really it for Zap. Um, thanks.